Hello, everyone. Um, you know, and I would have to go to see what is all being spoken. You know, so many people just have their verses. And they'll cast them about, you know. And the thing is, I mean, it's always out of context. And even if they have followed the conversation a little bit, you know, what I know through the work, the things that didn't come through, there was more. And, and there's some things that's hard to, hard to know how to explain. You know, but I'm just taking face value from the work that's now done in me. Then, then, it, and when the work's done in you, then you're taken to, you know, your mind will, that, the scripture, you'll go to the scripture, work out thy own salvation with trembling and fear. What is it to work out thy own salvation with trembling and fear? And like I said, you'd have to really go to, to see what was truly being spoken. And you can only get so much. But I'm only talking about that verse after knowing what it means. After having understanding because I've the work has been done. That work of salvation has been done in me. It is in what is that work is the overcoming of darkness and ignorance and fear. This was something that was through spirit that has to happen in each. It's not, you don't follow after what man says in the church and just because you say these things, although you have no understanding, that's not how it works. There is a preservation. You know, there is a saving grace done here because it's a, it's a, that is a part of the work. But to truly receive the salvation and have this work accomplished in you. That's, you know, that's, <laughs> some things are hard to say. It, you know, and, you know, that thought, that scripture came to mind today when, you know, when I, when you get to certain points where you're more and more sure and, and it, that it's that working the spirit that gives you the right understanding through the right eyes makes you see rightly so you don't have this hindering you and it, and it, and all this is working out in you it's you know putting off that double mind it's purging you of that double mind that contrary mind little by little it's working it out in you <laughs> bugger hush you know, like I, the work that, all this work that's done in myself and my brethren, this is a work of grace. This is a work of love. This is the finishing. And, and, um, and we know through the work in us that it, like we had to be made able to, to know the fullness of how it all works. The way, the truth, the life. Man is only understood through a darkened mind. Look through the darkened glass dimly or however it's spoken. It's, and, what, and why are you working out that side? What is the salvation? What is to be set at one again? Salvation is to be set at one and at peace. And but through, so when you're working it out, it is that fearful, darkened mind that is being enlightened and as that and as you come as the lights come on lighting up more and more in you you become, you see what things really mean and what the true work really is more and more and it's bringing you to the fullness of salvation and the being set at one again and when you have you know it, it, it's through phases that you're brung here because through the fullness, through the measure of your fullness, you know, what you're made more and more able to receive until, you know, you see, and I still have 
there's still more that I don't know, you know, concerning the, all the things, the all. But when it comes to salvation, I know how the work is done because it's been done in me. And this was the work that was ordained and, you know, unless, you know, so many, even some of my, the brethren, you know, as the word's going out and the encouragement and, and making them and, and just hearing the word, the spirit's working, that word is working and more and more able, but there's some that's, you know, and you got to endure and just, and if it is through that work done in you, that keeps you enduring because of what you've already heard, the part, what you've already received, you have to, it's hoping till the end. It's before that, what's given to you, what you've already perceived that keeps you hoping. And, and as you go, you're strengthened and strengthened and strengthened until you see, and you see what it was, what was done in you. You see what was, you see that what hindered you. You see that darkness, that ignorance, that double mind that you no longer have. You, you see the accomplished work that has been done in you. The very thing that you're working out is leading you to the salvation. But see, so many, when you stay bound there, you're not working it out. When you stay, or you just stay there just because you feel like you're safe there. And, you know, you, you haven't worked out salvation. You haven't truly lived. You haven't truly known and been known. You know. So, this, some things are easier understood within than to try to explain, but, you know, even myself, you know, I had, I, I began with that faith and love that I knew, and then when the confusion entered, and I was shown a God that did not, you know, the fearful God that, you know, and I had all the world telling me this was what I'm supposed to, and this why, and it's, you got to think, once you get, once you come halfway through the work, you're thinking, how silly it was to believe every voice. Who was they to say? And who, and, 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 and here we are, each of us just, you know, consumed by, by what, they have said, who was they to say these things, you know, and for us to, I say it, I don't know how, where I was going there, I just, oh, and, and another thing, Like I said, why I didn't, in a sense, I did, but I didn't put down the Bible when I go to the Greek. But I'll still, you know, you can, like I, I've said, you can still get a lot from. You can get that groundwork through faith and through the Spirit working. Like, you know, after I had eaten it up, it was because I had ate up that letter that when the revelation began, I had that in me. I had eaten the flesh. I had the Word in me. And that's how the spirit lightened it. It was just dead in me. But the spirit, when when the revelation began, the right mind gave life to the word and began working in me. Where is it going? Um, you know, and that's why after the work was done, I only... I. I just wanted to say the whole time it was the, the work was being done in me, even through the purging, the first year and a half of purging. But it was cause of all the other things that you know I, I went, I, I hear what others were saying, and I wanted I, myself that I doubted. That's what put took me back to the word, which when I realized the air, then I went to beneath, and that's when I saw there was so much that didn't come through. And you get enough from the letter through faith to receive what you needed. And, but then there was those, you know, at one point I, you know, I just, I wanted to put it off, but somehow I, 
you know, I was going to put off the whole Bible. You know, some is cast it off, the mark of the beast, 666. And in a sense, that there's more, but the mark of the beast is, you know, everything is so much more than man. It's not what man has thought. And there was a work done through it. It was a work of salvation from the beginning to the end. And we, some of us, have witnessed this now. Some of us understand now what has been done even through that book, even through the, the translated letter. So, you know, but that in a sense, though, it was that good mind in me that, that knew I, this book I called, you know, what had been done in me. That's why I didn't put it down. It's like I chose to hold to that good mind say if I was called because there was a time when I first ate the book up that all I needed was the book my pen and pad and my dictionary and my concordance and that was what I needed so I felt that strongly about the book then so I was gonna <laughs> stick with it and I understand what they had and that's not wrong what they've done it because they got to still work this within them they already have the book it's to be worked out within each of us has to do our the, the journey has to take place in each of us but you know I've seen some who have they just put it off but that's the that's the when that's the darkness overcome you didn't believe in the light to bring to bring more to pass to to I don't know how to say it I don't So that last thought on that word that you even that you even heard once and how do you say that last that last thought concerning the book was oh it's 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 of the devil it's you know so right there the light didn't overcome because that last thought concerning the book was you put it aside and then and then you went because because that wicked one wasn't overcome you continued looking into the world, you know, looking for the darkness in the world and the corruption in the world. And had you endured, which I did put off because it really when I go beneath the grief, but it is because I didn't cast it off all the way that now I understand the work that was done in it. You know, I'm able to see how salvation was worked even through the Bible it was a, a big part the part of the finite the, the beginning work it was the scripture and it had to get out that we could eat it up you know and I'm not saying to those as I know a couple particular that <clears throat> and it's like It's just to have that last thought of the book was evil. I've even heard of someone, one, uh, well, probably many, but one particular that wrote uh, all against it. But that's the last thought is, is, it was darkness. And now you write another book filling it with the darkness that you found. The whole point was you're supposed to overcome the darkness with the light. And when and even to reveal the light will reveal the air in the book that others might see. It's, the air is man did not understand. Man did not have their their mind was not able to understand. So they how it was translated. I don't know. There's just it, it's levels. It's this levels and. Because in one sense it is the mark of the beast. Because it's of the it's the translation of the unclean mind that had, that had not the spirit lighting the word, you know. And even after the spirit lit the word, why I can say it truly that was the mark in the translation. Because when the spirit lit up in me and showed me, I saw the air. I know the air. I know. That there's air in the book but it was but it was all done but now I see a work 
the work of salvation was uh, was part of it. And uh, I hope something makes sense. Anyway, I got to go to work, and uh, I'm gonna start. Even if it's just a couple minute videos, I really want to start keeping these short. And uh, many blessings to y'all. Bye for now. Hello everyone. I just want to add this to a video I just made. Um, I was reviewing. I always review them. Um, I'm talking about working out thy own salvation with trembling and fear. And it was only going to be a thought, but I ended up, you know, just going on with it. Um, but also I just wanted to, you know, as I'm watching something else come to mind, when it doesn't say work out one another's salvation with trembling and fear. It doesn't say, you know, to content, condemn and, you know, speak all these things to one another. It's work out thy own salvation with trembling and fear. And in that, you also see that man has not understood the working of salvation. The working of salvation and the work that is done in you. And there was one other thought. You know, all, all these who have taken it upon themselves to condemn and, you know, think that they're the correctors of the brethren. No, you, the only one we need to find correction is in ourselves. And we're not teachers and we're not judges. We are witness. We testify to what we have experienced and heard of spirit ourselves, not what others have told to us. And see this work that is done in myself and my brethren out there, it's not our work. We are partakers of all these things. But the work was mightier than ourselves. We are just prepared to do our part. Um.